My name is Brother JD. I started L. Ray's Garage in my old backyard years ago. I knew it then, and I know it now. There are thousands of people that build awesome rides right from their own homes. That true artistic innovation takes place in the backyards of our great nation. Time to give real builders a chance to show off what they put their heart and soul into. And at the same time, give a little bit back to charity. A celebration of the Blue Collar Nation. A show for the people, by the people. Welcome to Wrench Wars. Welcome to Race Wars! It's Metal Mayhem! Let's bring it to the game! My name's uh, Louis uh, Herrera. I'm from La Puente, California. I've been working on cars since I was probably 12 years old. My favorite memory as a kid is always with my dad. I always had to do the dirty work. I was not allowed to do wrenches unless I cleaned everything first. That's the name of the game. You know, I've seen the competition out there, you know, uh, I'm not scared at all. This guy does not stand a chance. My name's Jordan Tyak from Bakersfield, California. Uh, I've been working on cars since uh, I got my license, so. I'm a little nervous. I'm uh, a lot of tired. <laughs> uh, my car didn't run yesterday. We had a bunch of computer issues and wrong harness, the wrong computer. And it's been exhausting, but I'm super excited to be here. I saw the competitor's car. It's, uh, I didn't get to get a good look at it yet, but it looks like a pretty nice car, so. Welcome back to Red Wild! That's for you guys, fighting out of the red corner with this 1941 Chevy Deluxe. I give you Mr. Louis Herrera. The name of my charity is Alex Lemonade. It's for cancer. I just lost my brother two weeks ago to cancer, so I'm actually playing for him. Uh, it wasn't his time to go, but uh, if we could do what we can for the kids now, um, I'd love to give all my winnings to them. Fighting out of the blue corner, out of Bakersfield, California, with his 1954 Chevy sedan, I give you Jordan Tyre! I decided to choose Camp Hamilton as my uh, charity. They actually supply homes for veterans and their families when in need. Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by our good friends at Roof King, Southern California's top roofer. A super Chevy showdown tonight between these two sluggers. Who's going to take this bout? Will it be Louie and his 41 or Jordan and his 54? Stick around and we'll find out. The rules of Ranch Wars are simple. In rounds one and two, just persuade the judges that the work you did on your ride is better than that of your opponent. Round three is a head-to-head -head competition that challenges those garage skills. This round is worth as much as one and two put together. Good luck, contenders. So, before we get too much farther, let's meet the esteemed judges for tonight's matchup. In the middle seat. We call her the professor because she teaches auto body and paint at El Camino College for the last 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Patty Fairchild! <laughs> and on the end, that man races anything. Baja, motocross, sprint cars, go-karts. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not get in a truck with him ever again. Mr. Bob Alderman! <laughs> And to my right, he's now built some of the nicest award-winning rides around, including several, several SEMA builds, but he's also known to chop and customize anything. The owner and main man behind rides by John. I give you John Niver. My name's John Niver. I'm from Orange County, California, and I build hot rods. So my shop is Rides by John, and we're known for building really high-end Cadillacs, hot rods of all natures. We do a lot of SEMA builds. We've won numerous awards all over the country for our cars. You can make the biggest bucket of parts make like the nicest car, you know, and it's just creativity. It's all it is all day long, every day is creativity. It's okay to grab yourself a bite. It's metal mayhem in the cage tonight. We'll be right back. So round one is all about the outside the ride. Anything that you can see on that car as it's rolling down the road. Body, paint. Did I say paint? We might not go there. Right? You ready to see what you're playing for? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a hand for Miss Joy to the World? 
Check out this prize pack. You know what? We put together, Joy and I, we put it together. This is a hodgepodge. We have every banner you see in this cage is some type of contribution by that company. They sent so much stuff that we made a big old package for you. So over here, we got a shirt and two pairs of pants from our good friends over at Red Cap. All right, I'm wearing a Red Cap right now. Jack, I'm looking stylish. That's Red Cap. We got a fender protector right here from Edelbrock, a ratchet and flex light from Gear Rent from International Aero. We got Suds Fusion and Protect right here. This is some fine detail products right there from International Aero. Check this out. This is an original Dogtown skateboard deck. Jim Muir's triplane reissue designed back in 1979. Red Cap, Gear Rent, Edelbrock, International Aero, Dogtown skateboard. We appreciate you. Here we go. That's round one prize packs. Good luck, gentlemen. So I believe you won the coin toss, Jordan. And you said, you know what? I'm going to defer. Let my man Louie go first in round one. Louie, you're up first, buddy. Let's do it. Judges, let's get on up with those flashlights. Let's go have a look. That round's going to begin as soon as joy to the world hits that big red bell. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, like I always say, on the bell. Uh, judges, check it out. You guys are actually looking at a 48 Chevy Coupe that I converted into a 41 Chevy. Nice. Put the front cow on, put the whole front end on from the 41, left the 48 doors on it. That's why you see this. Two by four beams, so it can slam on the ground so the pitch well doesn't get in my way. Chop top, three in the front, five in the back. Nice. So pretty much we got that done. The skirt's on it as well. Go back here, no bumpers at all. 41 uh, trunk lid, 41 fenders, pretty much 48 body on this one as well. Shaved door handles on this side. You can still see the 48 door panel located here on this. And this was the hard part here, changing all the front cow piece and then doing the body and then chop on this thing. And the front here, pretty basic 41 Chevy, trying to make it look like it hasn't been changed, but if you're a car guy, you can notice. Uh, the <laughs> All right, boys and girls, round one is going to begin for this blue corner right now, Mr. Jordan. You got one minute. Start a flapping, buddy. Here we go. Oh, no, bear! All right, start with five-inch section, six-inch chop. I didn't raise the wheel well. I actually took it out of the front fender, skinned the door, cut the inside, uh, filled antenna, filled door handle, uh, filled 165 or so molding holes. Um, wow. Filled the gas door, doing some rust repair right here, had to cut out the whole back of the trunk. The entire trunk is gone. Had to replace it all, get a new, uh, get a parts cart for that. Got uh, 15 by sevens in the back, 15 by six artil uh, US wheel, artillery wheels, 185, 65, 15 radial white walls. Uh, no front bumper, not enough room. The uh, rear bumper is still working on rust repair, so I don't have that yet. Both cars, both rear quarters of the car have been crushed, so I had to pull all that out. Get it all right, fellas, it's going to be a tough round to judge. I'm glad I don't have to judge. <laughs> Professor, do you have questions for these gentlemen? So, Red Corner. Yes. I know I've seen that car at a swap meet before. Yes, I bought it at the Pomona swap meet. No floor, no trunk lid, no front end. Just doors and a shell. No windows, no seat. Nice. And did you do the job? I did everything in my Very backyard nice. on vacation. What inspired you to do that? Do you have a oh. chassis laying there? Do you have a no, 41 I had a plan when I brought it home. I wanted to chop a car and learn how to do it, so I chopped it. So, Blue Corner, is this car done? No, it's not. It'll be full paint, full interior. It'll be a full show car. I would never paint that car, man. The metal work is, it's just, I'd be so proud of that, I wouldn't paint it. So, Red Corner, down where you did your uh, frame reinforcement down there, what do you plan on doing with the rockers to fill them out, or is that the final product? Or? That's it, this car is 100% done. 100% done. 100% done. So there's going to be no paint applied, nope. no body work, just rock it. It has so much character the way it is, I'm afraid to ruin it by putting color on it. I definitely agree with you. Yeah. I think it's time to find out who wins that killer prize package right over there, right here. Oh, Red Corner! Another work on that car. That guy did a really nice job. I definitely agree. The other one was an original car that was modified heavily, but the other car started as a pile of parts, got a different front end, got a lot of work on it. I'm so glad I don't have to judge this round. You can't go wrong either way. Both of them great, great work. So I think it's time to find out who's going to win that prize pack for round one. Judges, 
How do you find round one? Red or blue? Where do you see? I see a blue. I see a red. Red going on big. Whoa! So great. You know, it was a good win. I got some cool stuff. You know what I mean? Car did what it had to do. So I'm great. You know, I think the judges on that round one. I think it showed that he had a more finished car. I still got late ways to go, and I, uh, I don't uh, disagree with their decision over that. So we'll have to go and see what happens in round two. Round one's over. Round two is all about the inside of the ride. Anything you can tell these judges that you've done yourself. Engine, tranny, interior, gauges, electrical, suspension. Want to see what you plan for? Yep. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, joy to the world. <laughs> That's right. This is from our good friends over at Jenny Shifter. Straight from the great state of Colorado, we have this genuine Jenny Shifter, the very finest and most innovative street rod, hot rod, and custom car products available. With e-brake solutions, including the original cut-to-fit brake cables, they also make knobs, pedals, handbrakes. The best part is Jenny Shifter, like most OEM manufacturers, uses side detent. The lateral action with its positive stops, it virtually eliminates shifting errors that can occur with straight line button style shifters. Side detent also allows for silky smooth manual shifting during spirited driving, gentlemen. That's right, spirited driving. This is from Jenny Shifter, right out of Colorado. We thank you, Jenny. Thank you, thank you. There you go, boys. Let's hear it, boys. Like that. All right, contenders, you know how it works. This is round two. It's all about inside the ride. Jordan, you're going to go first round two. Okay. I'll say, judges, let's grab them flashlights. Let's get to it. No sense dilly-dally. Round two for the blue corner is going to begin right now. Oh, no. All right, you got an LS1, 256, six feet. Um, it's a, uh, I made the uh, A-arms, the low, upper and lower A-arms, made spindles, used the 04 GTO hub and caliper. Uh, I had to do all the steering. It's got a uh, Thunderbird steering rack, power steering, aluminum radiator, dual fans. Uh, that's the aluminum filler cap. That's for the reservoir, the brake booster, uh, the clutch mass cylinder all under the dash. Stainless steel brake lines, everything's stainless steel, bent and flared myself. Uh, I did it steering column tilt, uh, spoon pedals. We got the Vi Air. We did the uh, Vi Air compressors, AccuAir, in tank. Uh, the, the, the valves are inside the tank, so everything's but they were super clean, simple. Got a nine inch Ford rear end with an aluminum strange center section. Nice. Got a Watts link, four link. Uh, You ready to go, buddy? Let's do it. Here we go. Round two for you is going to begin on the back. So pretty much we got a 93 pickup Silverado 5.7 T-Black fuel injection. This baby runs everywhere. AC pump, AC compressor in it, aluminum radiator. It's got an 80 cutlass frame in it. So we cut, added a foot to it. It's got cutlass floors in it, cutlass seats in it. Power steering, power brakes, all that good stuff. Uh, it does have cruise control from the truck as well. So when we do drive it free or do go on vacation, it does go. With a four inch body drop on it as well. 54 Chevy dash, 54 steering, uh, steering column. I converted the original steering column into the cutlass steering arm as well. Low car shifter. You can see how the cutlass floors are. And then the four inch body drop uh, on it. it. Does have power seats. Trunk ain't as fancy, but it, it'll work. I've got my beer on my ice chest. I'll tell you, it's always difficult to judge these things. The professor always has a question. What do you have, sis? Red corner. You brought a lot of family and friends here tonight. Did you have kids or anybody else? In the garage with you, learning together as oh, you built this? My, whole, my kids, we built this all together. Nice. They pulled the motor out of the car with the cherry picker. Blue corner. The fabrication work on the inside is so clean. I'm wondering, what is your background? Do you do metal work for a living? I do brakes and alignments. That's my day job. The rest of it's just a lot of research. All of that design and all that work, the watch link in the back, you fabricated all that stuff. Some of the stuff, like the shapes that were cut out, I have an account with a local steel yard. They have a, a torch that can cut those shapes out for me, so I drew those up. Are you planning on pulling the body off of that and powder coating everything and top the bottom? Yeah, when it was a paint that was, that's my plan is pull it all apart, coat it, 
Very simple process, doing it that way. Make sure everything's right, and then take it apart, and put it back together. That's the way the big boys do it, huh, buddy? It's the way that we do it. That's it. Well, I say it's time to find out who's going to win round two in that killer Jenny Shifter right there. Right after this, on Rich Wars! If you'd like to be a contender on Rich Wars, or just want some fine clothing, hit us up, Rich Wars. Bottom row is good. You're done. Yeah! Top row's good. Bottom row's got two switches. Two switches? Yeah, it's not quite right. Yes, sir, you're ready to move on. We're looking for that green worm. It's broken. Broken? Yeah. All right, let's see. You know what? Get rid of the green room. Go to the next round. Get this thing out of here. Come on. <laughs> Boy, these boys hammer these things, man. <laughs> Good to be Wrench Wars champion tonight. Just the third round, man. It was just awesome. I give him props, man. He took the belt home and he deserved it, man. But I had a blast. All right, on this Metal Mayhem episode, I just want to give a big old shout out to everybody. Bad Dog Biz, Black Top Magazine, Woo! Ed O'Brock, Blaster, Dogtown, Emerald, Ink and Stitch, Russell, C10 Lifestyle, Red Cap, Aeroflex, Jenny Shifter, International Aero Detail, Cool It, Thermotech, Blaster Against Square Body Syndicate, Tough Stuff, Roof King, Roll right there from Thermotech, Gear Wrench, Blaster Against International Aero, Ibach, and Quick Trick Alignment. We thank all of you for helping us make Wrench Wars so much fun. Like I always say, if you do the backyard boogie, you know what to do. Bring it to the cat!